the Transport Ministry has made significant investment to the country's transport infrastructure such as roads and railways. This has facilitated the movement of goods and people to and from southern African destinations. Indeed, my ministry has in mind, for starters, the development of a logistical master plan, which will serve as a roadmap toward the realization of this very important dream. Of course, this plan will need to be further supported by this corridor and indeed SADC for it to become a reality. However, the dream to become a logistic hub is made slightly more difficult by Namibia's small population. Nevertheless, the country has a special competitive edge. Not only is Namibia close to Europe and the Americas, it can also tap into SADC region's population, which stands at about 400 million. Furthermore, both the private and the public sector in our respective countries needs to work together toward the common good of our region. We should be ready to assist each other in any way possible. After all, regional development is not only the responsibility of a single government, but of all of us. The drive to establish the Trans-Orange Corridor must not be seen as competing with neighboring countries, but rather as an alternative trade route in the region. Furthermore, we are busy with deepening and expanding our ports, rehabilitating our railway network, and upgrading our roads. This, these investments are not for Namibia, but for the region as a whole. This is also in the spirit of Harambe, which advocate that we all move together toward prosperity. For the corridor dream not to lose momentum, the establishment of a permanent secretariat is necessary to harmonize regional legislation and operations.